another mini tutorial for today um, I'm just gonna film these when I pop up in my mind you know I'm just gonna be like ah oh, that's a helpful thing I should share that so today we're gonna talk about um, helping patterns line up with darts or lines or whatever you want to call it so I'll show you guys what I am talking about. so I'm just doing up quantum's nose I'm just doing up quantum's nose right now and I've chased them onto the paper into the onto the fabric and I realized ah this would be something useful to share so I'm gonna grab quantum real quick. Come here, buddy. So right, so this is quantum. He's a sort of I'm working on. Now I'm currently doing his nose. So these are the pieces. So this one sits like that. That will sit on top. And then say you have right. So I can show you right here. So whenever I do noses, I always have a really hard time getting it to line up properly. So what I've done is when I put the pattern on the head, I drew two lines over where the pattern is cut. So when I sew it together, I can line up those two lines to get it to line up properly. So you can kind of see there, and I would, oh, it's gonna stay, no it's not. So if I put the left one on, you can see that it connects down there. All right, let's, I'll cut this out and I'll show you it in sewing. A makes... brief little side note, I wanna show you guys these. My mum got me these awesome sewing scissors. Just like listen to these. Oh, let's let watch. Let's watch them in action. Oh my god! Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. I've always almost made myself bleed with these like twice because they're so sharp. Oh, lovely. Okay, so I'm lining it up, ready to pin, and you can already see it, my our markings isn't 100% accurate, but you can kind of see where I'm lining it up. Let's pin this and get this done. So. I've pinned the two, the bottom bits together, so the left and the right. Now what I actually did wrong here was I marked them wrong. I marked left and right incorrectly because when I flipped them over they should have been opposite but they weren't. So the markings really helped me fix that human error there. But you can kind of see, I've pinned them. Markings are good and I'll give this a sew. I'm just using a small straight stitch for the nose. So let's, oh wait, I'm sewing this way first. The light in my sewing machine is broken, it's very sad. Now usually with machine sewed stuff I would zigzag over the top, but it usually means that you can see the zigzag stitch. So there we go, have the bottom of the schnoz. Now I'm going to pin the last bit of it. So I've pinned the bottom half to the top half. All the lines are somewhat lined up, so I can see that's the correct way of pinning it. Um, so let's give this thing a give this one a sew. Oh, I'm standing on. And two, let's see if I can get that in better view. threads cut the threads and there we go it's a ruche noz looking good looking good and I'm just gonna trim the things on that right as I was saying um, the best place to use this technique is for I find body suits and really really long tails so when you're making something like say an angel dragon tail it will twist a lot of the time so you'll sew it together you know it looks fine and then you stuff it and suddenly it's done like a full-on 180 twist and that's not fun to deal with because you've got to remake the entire tail to fix it um if you've ever seen a angel dragon of mine shush he has that twisted tail i need to make him a new one i will get around to that once i have the spare fur um but to fix that all you got to do is you got to do the um little darts or the lines and that will fix pretty much any and all turning you have especially it's really helpful with bodysuits because those things can be confusing as hell to pattern if you're doing digigrade and you're taping it and stuff um, but when you when you take the pattern off you can then line up the darts and you'll be good to go and it'll help you out a lot so I hope you guys enjoyed the second iteration in this little mini tutorial series I'm chucking together a little human sky stuff I guess 
but I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.